stream. So happy with all right okay so i think we are live and that is not a bad thing uh, a few minutes early but that's okay um so what are we painting today a lot of cool stuff a lot of cool things um i got a game uh the other day and um if you guys have played um wildlands and you know how fantastic that is. Martin Lawrence, uh, I mean, a Martin, um, Martin Wallace game. And it's absolutely fantastic. Well, they came out with Wildlands in the Judge Dredd universe. And the miniatures are incredible. So I figured, hey, what the heck? Why don't we just paint them, right? Why not? So uh, without further ado, why don't we get to work on them? Now, the amazing thing about these is... <clears throat> You don't have to paint them. You really don't. Uh, they are just uh, fantastic. They're washed and they're very detailed. So I'm going to show you down at the table here. So why don't we uh, go to one of the views here? Um, and this is one of the some of the villains here. Um, uh, I forgot what the name of these guys are, but the the yard on this is like ridiculous, of course, and it is absolutely beautiful. We're going to be painting all the Dread figures, um, the Dread faction. And um, this is uh, one of the first uh, the bad guys that I'm going to be painting. And they're very cool as well. Let's take a look at these. And, and you can see that, uh, I mean, just, just with the wash, they're fantastic. And they don't need a lot of work or anything like that. So we're going to take a look at a few more here. And... You know, I, I just paint them because, I mean, you don't have to, but I think it just adds to it. And, you know, you add the, the color. The nice thing about this is is that you really don't have to prime these because they've already got this very strong wash over them. So you're going to be able to go right over them. Now, I'm going to be reviewing this game. You can see that tomorrow on Rob's Tabletop World. But today, we are going to be concentrating on the following figures. Judge Anderson. Judge Giant. Chief Judge Hershey, the Mean Machine, and Judge Dredd. Now to save some time, I have actually gone ahead and started a little bit, but I am going to really um, break it down on, on how to do this and make it real simple. So let's go to our angle here. Um, already we've got, we've got uh, the Judge Giant right to where we want. Um, uh, where we've got a wash over it. So we started to seal everything right in from there. So we're pretty good where we are right there. Uh, but we're going to be finishing it up uh, painting. And you can see the wash in here. It really just does some beautiful things. But we're going we're gonna to we're gonna paint over that wash. And then we're going to wash over it. And then build out from there. So it's going to be a pretty good time. I think you'll really enjoy it. So without further ado, let's keep going here and get going i'm using a war boss green on um the legs here and i used for for the bodies of each of them such as judge anderson here um as you can see right in there i used a uh aldolf guard which works very very well now if you guys have any questions feel free to answer them i'll keep on looking up and see if uh we can we can accommodate you in any ways, but we should be able to mow through this pretty good. I'm going to be taking a look at Judge Dredd. Right now, I'm going to finish all the green on, on the judge himself. And all we're trying to do is get good coverage. So we're going to take a little water here. And i got a little area over here that we're not going to, because I really kind of want to really be able to show you guys up close, because these are pretty small miniatures, but they're going to be perfect. I mean, uh, this is just such a fun game. And if you played Wildlands, you'll, you know what I'm saying. And that this is just a, a great experience. So without further ado, let's keep painting along here. So right now, I want to get his hands here. And all I'm doing is just taking and just getting that green in here. And uh, this is the judge himself. 
So we're just taking our little brushes, just taking our time. We're not rushing anything and everything. Using a small brush here just to make sure that we get everything. And it's 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 not hard. Right now we're just doing coverage. And coverage is pretty easy. We just want to make sure that we get everything covered. And then we'll go over with a nice dark wash. And then we'll bring it all out. And you'll see how it all comes together. Because we'll be able to finish the giant uh, tonight at least. Or just have everybody kind of pretty much where we need them to be. There's a couple tough areas here uh, that we want to be careful. And that's with the helmet. Um, and we'll do our best with that as we can. So I'm going to move my hand there. And there we go. Uh, remember to live chat. Oh, wait. Welcome to live chat. Remember to guard your... Oh, okay. All right. So I wonder if uh, this even works. Well, it used to work. Uh, just checking. Yeah. Should be able to live chat if you guys have anything to say. Oh, Zevlik said something. Okay. So I don't know if the live chat it should be on. Uh, again, it's kind of different, different because these aren't the settings that I have on my live stream but hey we're live streaming that's the most important thing all right let's go back down with our helmet here and all we're trying to do i want to leave this area here because we're gonna we're gonna put some uh, some retribution armor in there that's really gonna uh, stand out a bit and sad look if you're in here just do me a favor just type something And if Helen, if you show up, do me a favor, tell me whether or not it's working or not. Because I believe we said everything correctly. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, there we go. Hello, Barbara, hello, monster. Just making sure you guys are there. All right, there we go. All right. So we are painting Judge Dredd from the Wildlands series. I guess they're going to have a bunch of different games uh, associated with this, and I kind of like it. The neat thing that they're going to do is that when this releases on the uh, on the street, you're going to get be able to get a PDF from our good friends, yes, at at a uh, board game geek on board game geek uh, under the Wildlands thing. You'll be able to uh, download a PDF so you can interact games. So you could take. Judge Dredd and have him take on a bunch of doors or something like that. And they're going to have rules for that. So it's going to be really, really cool to do and see. And I'm looking forward to that aspect of it. All right. So all we're trying to do here is get his armor where we need it to be. And that's all we care about right now. And I'm just mowing through this real quick. And what helps is, again, like I said, this wash here really, really helps more than you can ever imagine. All right, so, whoops, let's put that there. We have Judge Anderson here also. So we're going to close up that war. I used the War Boss Green on it, a matter of fact. And uh, you'll see exactly what we're going to do. Uh, and just to show you some of the other guys that we got going here, this is the Judge Giant. Giant. He's really dark because I put a wash over him. But we're gonna we're gonna bring him out, and you're gonna see exactly how we're gonna do this. This is the mean machine, and then of course uh, we have um, the judge there, uh, the chief judge. So it's gonna be a lot of fun how we get to the finish line here, for sure. Let me just double check something here. Okay, all right, I'm gonna switch to that. And where is it? Okay, we're gonna use a retribution armor this gold is just perfect for what we want to try to attempt here and uh what do we want to try to attempt well exactly that we want to paint the gold areas of the judge himself so without further ado huh uh the badge here we want to take care of we really want to get that in there change brushes I don't like this brush and then really just want to get this 
gold over the top here. I'm going to change brushes again. That brush is not making me happy. I just want to go back to the one I was working on. Okay, there we go. Alright. Got my helmet down. Let's do this. And you got to get underneath here. I know that's a bad spot. I wonder if uh, we change the angle. We go from top down. If that's any better. Okay, there we go. Let's try that. Let me know if you guys like this angle a little bit better. And just want to get that gold in there. It's going to make a big difference in the mighty judge himself. Why are all these brushes hitting me in the hands? Right? Right? Now. You're gonna see a review on this game. I think you're really gonna like it. Uh, let's see. Did these minis start from a primer or were they pre-painted? Uh, they started, believe it or not, like this. They were already pre-washed. Oh, let me let me let me just get my hand up there so you guys can see that. There we go. Oh, we'll use the other camera. I'll show them again. Oh, there we go. There it is. It's got white out my hand. Yeah, these are pre-washed, so I decided to paint them all. Uh, right today, we're doing uh, the judges themselves, so it really makes it easier when they're pre-washed because number one, you're going to be able to see the detail that you're looking to pull out, and then when you come back over, well, guess what? It's going to be easy. It's going to be easy, and then. Here we go again. Just trying to get this in here. And we're going to be on for about an hour or so. We should be able to get these where where we need to be. And then next week you'll see the rest of the... Uh, you're going to get four factions in the box. And uh, really, really beautiful, beautiful miniatures. Uh, like I said, you don't have to do this. You don't have to paint them. I just paint them because, well, I can paint them. <laughs> and I like to paint them. And I like to try to give people a blueprint to show you what how I would do it. And then, you know, you decide for yourself what you want to do from there. You don't have to paint them, though. It's, there's no law saying, hey, you got to paint these. But I just think I painted all the, the first series. And I just... I figure I'd just do everything because I have everything painted. And I really like this game. Martin Walls has, you know, he just made a great, great game. And uh, I just think it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. And uh, I don't think it gets as much talk as it should. And now that you have Judge Dredd, and who knows what they're going to come up with next. I mean, jeez, count me in. I'm here all the way. Uh, the next thing I want to do, especially with the judge here, I want to make sure that I got this real good. And then we want to get this this little area right here. There we go. And then we're going to come back a bit with that gold. There we go. And we want to stop right about there. There we go. Just good even strokes. Just make sure that you have a good brush that you feel comfortable with. And everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. There we go. So we're going to put him off to the side. Let him dry for a second. And then we're going to go with Judge Anderson here. Shadow Cat. Judge. Judge is out to get now. Uh, I'm not too sure. It showed up on my doorstep and... Uh, I believe it'll be out very, very, very soon. Let's try to do this side view here. Okay, there we go. We also have this view here. But I think that's a little too far away. So we're going to go with this. All right, there we go. I'm just going to change the card here. Make sure I have 
what I need so I can see. Judge Giant and Judge Anderson. There she is. All right. And uh, I'll tell you, th these are just very, very nice models. I, I was very pleasantly surprised by this. I'm very happy to see this on my doorstep. Matter of fact, I was kind of shocked it was there. And because uh, I didn't even know that this was coming out. And I'll tell you what, this is fantastic. I, I went through and really enjoyed it. Hey, Aldi, how are you? Good to see you. We are painting Judge Dredd. Um, this is actually from Wildlands, uh, Osprey Games. They've done it again. Martin, Martin Wallace. Um, he did the fantasy version, and now, um, like I said, uh, really, really just was blown away by what I saw in the box. And I think you guys will be too. I did a, a review on it that I think goes live tomorrow. But we're painting the figures today. Uh, and then I'll show you the rest of the figures next week. As next week, we've really got an interesting week for you. Um, we are going to be doing zombies. I'm going to teach everybody how to paint zombies. And, uh, of course, all the other cast of characters that you'll find here at the Mighty board game geek I'm sure Chaz will have have some things going and as well as Rodney and everybody and let's not forget our, our, our newest compadres the brothers Murph we're just good guys I like those guys I got finally got a chance to meet them uh, I met one of them at origins and then I got to yeah, talk to him briefly at at uh, Gen Con this year. All right, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Cassandra Anderson Anderson says Shadow Cat. All right. So now that we got that there, very just put our basics on here and just really just kind of let it go. And then uh, the next thing is the hard part that we're going to try to do here. And uh, with the judge, so I don't know how well I'll be able to get this on, on camera, but I will show you that, that uh, one of the things that we want to do is we want to take some evil Scarlet Sun because one of the big highlights of that helmet, that helmet really just stands out. Now here I, I put some, I've already put part of the helmet on here, but I want to go over that again because I had gone over it with a wash, so I very, very, very... I just want to take just a little bit, just a little bit. But we'll worry about that in a second because right now what we really want to dial in is we, we, we want to get it here on our boy here. And we want to make sure that we come around the right way here. So as you can see, I'm just kind of skimming the outside nice and easy always use the edge of your brush because that's going to give you the best control going in and just just take your time now if you make a mistake guess what everybody makes mistakes everybody everybody and then you just fix it that's all you have to do you try try again and then eventually guess what you get it you will get it trust me just a nice See how I'm just, I'm just very softly, and I'm making sure that I feel good about the brush in my hand. And that's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying not to shake. I gotta remember I'm live here. So if I goof up, I really look stupid, but that's okay. Because, you know, that's the one thing about what you're gonna see here on the Mighty Board Game Geek, is that you're not gonna see a bunch of stuff that is taped over you're going to see the mistakes and you're going to see how I correct them and that's one of the important parts that we really want to hit home that when you paint it's okay to make a mistake it is it's all right it happens everybody does it everybody makes a mistake there we go you see we got that in there so now 
what I want to do is I have that same color. I want to clean off my brush a little bit here. Now this guy is very, very dark because I, I put a wash over him. And the reason I did that is, is so you guys can see how I'm going to brighten this guy up. But we're going to dark, darken these other figures up. So I'm going to show you how we get to this point on these guys. But don't, don't worry about that. I also want to see how, I want you to see how I brighten them up. And I am the law. That's right, King Fat. I am the law. Man, you just said a mouthful. <laughs> All right. So, you know, now that we have this nice and dark, we kind of want to bring this back a little bit. And we're just going to kind of hit little areas here. And we're going to make sure that we, we keep that nice dark. You see how that, that now all of a sudden is really popping? And that's, that's one of those things where you just kind of go over your wash a little bit, but you leave that wash in there. You let the wash do its job. And boom, you are going to have yourself a beautiful figure. Now now that helmet is starting to come out. So now we've just got to work on, on the other areas there, which I'm just going to throw a couple of dots in here. There we go. All right, there. Now we're going to start brightening them up. But first got to darken everybody else up. So how do we do that? Well, that's why I'm here. I'm going to show you how. Now, we got, uh, what do they call him? I forgot. Oh, the Mean Machine. Mean Machine. Oh, you know something? He's got a red eye. I forgot about that. That's all right. We can do that. We can fix that. That's what we're here to do. Happy little mistakes. That's all right, Rob. I'm updating the front page to get you actually <laughs> to get the actual YouTube video online. That's fine. It doesn't matter how many people watch. You know they're always here for you once they upload. And uh, thank you, Aldi, of course. Uh, and the nice thing about it is, you know, we're here. We're here every week. Now next week, my grandson's coming, so I'm gonna move this to a different day, and I'll let Aldi know which day. But with my grandson coming, hey, I could go spend got a little time with the little fella. I miss him. Uh, okay, there was a little dot here. And there was something here. There we go. So we just add little, little things in here. And that's going to really make this shine. All right, so there we go. Now we're going to take out some of our washes and we're gonna we're gonna darken these guys up so we're gonna use a new oil and mean angel no it says mean machine here here's my boy right here ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. and he looks it, they all look pretty cool they all look pretty cool I tell you this and this is a great game I mean it is a that's the best way to put it. It's kind of a war game that has a little bit of everything in it. You know, um, it's simple. It's easy. It's a, it's a beginner kind of skirmish game, but with figures that are beautiful. And and I, I just really like what Mr. Wallace has done. And uh, let me give him some mad love there. All right, so we're gonna take some of this new oil and I really want to get this in here now you see how we're bringing back some of the definition that was there all right I want to make sure that you guys see that and let me get my big fat fingers out of the way so the figure actually stars and all I'm doing is I'm going over this over every part and I, I don't mind going over the the green and everything else I just want to get good coverage in here I want the wash to really get in there I'm being careful not to hit her face because we don't want to get uh, a dark wash onto her face we'll come back with a different wash for her face after once we get everybody else uh, washed up and maybe uh, what time is it 
yeah 619 we'll be able to kind of highlight some of this stuff uh, a little bit later on in our program because we'll be off by seven and that's the main thing here I love Newell oil so do I can you show slain sure can sure can I will show the slain. Uh, just give me a moment, and just let me get through the new oil, and then uh, we'll go over. We'll go over, and I'll show you some of the slain here. Um, they're beautiful models, and again, you don't have to paint these. There's no law that says that. Oh well, they're miniatures. I have to paint them. I kind of like that that gray feel that they have, um, but I just I'm a Judge Dread fan, so of course I'm going to paint these. I mean, what can I tell you? What can I tell you? Oh, let me give him a, a few seconds to dry. Let's go over our friend here. Whoa, easy. Sorry about that. And you can just gonna see how things are just gonna kind of all of a sudden just kind of really get dark here. And that's what I want the new oil to do. I want it to do what it originally had done before I put some some base paints on here, and that is show me all the details so I can. I can really make it shine and in the boots here and and these bases they have you clip on these these little pieces I'll show you in a second here but you can actually just paint the ba the bases uh, a certain color and just go with that color every time you play that's what I think what do I know you know what do I know if I was so smart, I'd be a game designer, right? Uh, that gold really makes the mini scream judges. Yeah, we're we're gonna make that shine. I I, I really mean that in every sense of the word. Okay, I want to be very careful around her hair because I want to use a different wash, and it, and and it's controlling your washes, you know, moving them around. If you see, I'm moving everything around. And really getting the result that I want especially on the gold up around her neck her hand there and just moving making sure that that just sits there I want it to sit up there just like that exactly boom all right let's move you over here and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna how we're gonna bring them back after we get done with this and I, I want to show uh, someone requested something so hey who am I to say no, right? Now this is where it really counts is in this bionic arm piece um, because we're really going to have that come back. We want to get these boots nice and dark. There we go. 2000 AD, baby. This was a great comic book. How many of you are Judge Dredd fans out there? Kabuki, how are you, my dear? Always good to see the great Kabuki. and just taking our time here now i'm not sure when this comes out but i'm you know i'm i did a nice review for it so you you guys could see that tomorrow on rob's tabletop world i'm not here to promote that i'm here to do my thing for the mighty bgg and i'll tell you it's such a pleasure being a part of this team it's just great people doing great things and that's what we do I mean some of the stuff that that Rodney and, and Chaz do I mean and, and well of uh, Eric let's not forget the people behind the scenes you know you got all the you got Lincoln don't forget game night which is a great show if you haven't seen it check it out definitely check it out oh boy I hear a little thunder there that's what you get when you live in Florida huh don't worry we'll get this in we'll get this in look at that now that's gonna darken everything up and really well I'm doing all right Kabuk. I'm doing all right I'm judge dreading it <laughs> see we got our nice base colors on there that's all we wanted to do let me just take a little bit of this off here and then this is where we put in the work here is putting our wash in here and that's gonna just look look how 
Now look how it just sits in that eagle there, okay? That's what we're looking for. I am. I had the Mongoose Publishing Minis. Oh, cool. Very cool. Wow, that's going back. Mongoose. Man, I'm... Uh, the old days, huh? People don't realize what we had to do when they came out with minis. It, it's not like today. Every time you turn around, there's there's minis and there's things like that. Everything was pewter back then and expensive and and we'd have to build things and you know you don't get minute you know all this great stuff in the box. You got rules. You went and purchased the minis and then you were off and running and let your imagination do the thing. Same thing with D and D. You know you just you, you built your own stuff. Now they make it so easy. It's such a great time to be a gamer. You're all so very blessed and lucky. And I'm, I'm just happy I lived to see this time. But don't, don't think I don't miss the old days. I do miss some of the old stuff. Snowy day in New England. My friend's trying to get over to the house somehow, some way. And uh, just playing until until Sunday. Just good old times, huh? Is there a judge de death mini? No, there isn't, Adrian. I'm sorry, there is not. Uh, did you have the Babylon 5 minis? Yes, I did, and I still do. Those ships were ridiculous. They were huge, and they were glorious. I have them, and, and they're painted. They're somewhere here. I, can, uh, I actually have um, Silent Death, if you remember that. Um, that was another... That was an ID, ID, e, ICE game. Iron Crown Entertainment, if anybody remembers that. Hey, Troy, how are you? Uh, let's see who else. We said hi to Kabuki. King Fat. We said hi to Barbara. Monster. Um, I'm trying to think if I missed anybody else. I hope not. All right. So now we're just going to let this dry, and then we're going to come back to this. And I'm going to put this right there. And and we're going to come back to this guy here. Now this is the. Um, I'm going to. Well, I promised. Uh, I promised I was going to show some things off. So why don't I do that? So first, let's take a look at these cards from this great game. I mean, this is just fantastic. Uh, the Dread movie was wild. I mean, Sylvester Stallone. Come on. Here's the figures that we are working on today. Uh, the Judge Dry Giant. Uh, Chief Judge Hershey. Hershey excuse me. Uh, Judge Dread himself. Look, look how awesome he looks. Huh? The art is fantastic, by the way. Um, and I have Judge Anderson here. Now the Slain. The Slain. Look at the art. Wow. Huh? Come on now. Slain McGroth. Warp Slain. Nami. Or, or whatever. Kai. And there's another card floating around here somewhere. Probably in the box. But I'm going to show you the figures because you guys want to see that. And I'm going to be I'm going to be painting these. I mean, as you can see, you really don't have to paint them. You really don't. Uh, they do a beautiful job. They have a thick enough wash on there that I don't have to prime it underneath, and I can see, I can see the 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 detail, and I can work my my base coats in from there. Okay, here we go. All right, there you go. All right, so you guys are getting a good feel for that. And there she is. I mean, just. Now here's these bases I was talking about. You could just paint, you could just paint the base once you're done doing it. But if you want to have these things to clip in, hey, so be it. Who's to stop you, right? And this is just a fun game. Oh, sorry about that. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. All right. And then Kai. I mean, look at that. 
beautifully washed beautifully washed fantastic job all right there we go all right so now what we want to do is i kind of want to take um well let's yeah let's do this first i'm going to take some calendar sky and i just what i mean i don't want to take and, and and really put it on there thick i don't want to put it on there thick all right so i'm going to take this right out of the jar okay i'm going to take this calendar sky and i'm just going to get it on this particular brush like so and all i'm going to do is i'm going to also wipe it off my brush all right now something tells me i should go a little bit lighter but hey that's why we do do it here first okay so now all i'm going to do is i really want to kind of just go over those blue areas a little bit okay and make that kind of stand out all right and i want to get in in that groove there and here a little bit and by doing that i'm bringing back the figure well, let me just get a little bit more here sorry about that folks just gonna just take a little bit off and all I want to do is just kind of just highlight over. I don't want to lose that wash that I got. Okay. So I'm just kind of hitting areas a little bit. Just very lightly. In here. Into the shoulders here. And all we're doing is just selling. That's what I mean. We're selling it. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, I almost slipped there. I'm going to come back under here a little bit more. There we go. Okay, that kind of works for me. That kind of works. All right. And into there. So you see how that, that worked for that particular area. It really kind of brings things out. I'm going to take a little bit off here. And I'm going to come in here a little bit. Because I want that blue. The real key that is going to make this guy stand out is that green believe it or not and then when we go over with um, a little bit more all right let's get that blue off there we could switch to another brush actually because I don't want to have all that blue in there there we go and then what I'm gonna do here or here let's use this brush I think. yeah I think that's gonna work I'm going to go a lighter green here because I want to go very, very light. Actually, I, I, I think the way I want to work this is maybe even because if we take a look at the card, you can see the lighter green highlights and we just kind of want to just touch that a little bit there. All right. All right. So let me show you what, what, what I got planned here next. And just gonna take a little bit of this now I'm not sure if this is the right call here but I think it is personally because I really want to keep I really want to keep this in here all right so in the green areas like right here all I want to do do it's still got a little bit too much in there just kind of want to go over it a little bit and I just you see what I'm I'm going for here I'm just first of all this brush isn't doing it for me it's part of the struggles about going live sometimes your things work and sometimes they don't all right let's just take a different brush and this isn't a great brush to to do this with let me see if I, I can find something a little bit more stable. Um, yeah, this might do it. Yeah, I think I think we found something a little bit better. Just bear with me, folks. I thought I thought I thought they were Warlord minis. Do you have the new RPG? Uh, no, these are actually from a game that you can play. It's a board game. It's the a Wildlands game. 
uh, from Martin Wallace. It's called Judge Dread Helter Skelter. I'll show you the cover in a minute. Let me just uh, let me just get this going here. Okay, I got a little bit thicker brush here, so I got to be a little bit more careful in how I put this on because I can drown this out and we can really just run into some problems here. But just nice and now you see how nice and light I'm going over that, and I'm just kind of just bringing that out there. That's all I want to do, folks. That's all I want to do. All right. All we want to do is just highlight these these green areas and just kind of dry a brush over here. Pull a little bit from this area here and then come back over onto this side. I'm going to have to load up the brush a few times. But that's okay. That's okay. So that's what we're here to do. So let's do it again. Get that area working pretty good. This may be a little bit too light, but I'm kind of liking it a little bit. I don't know why. I think it'll dry a little bit darker. I'm gonna pull this guy off here so I can get a little bit more control. Always You could test underneath here too. So again, just, just tickling it, just tickle it. There you go. And make make that detail jump out for you. You can do it. Anybody can do this. Anybody can do this. And into these these hand areas. Alright. You see how dark that was. And now all of a sudden I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing it back. And I'm bringing those elbow pads back. And you see how. You see what I'm getting here. You see the result. That's all we're looking for folks. That's all we're looking for. Just another great day here on Board Game Geek, huh? Look at that. Look how look at look at the beautiful detail in there. And all you have to do is just pull it out yourself. You can do it. Now we'll do it this on the back here too. We're gonna do this on the back here. On the back here. And we're gonna make sure that we get this miniature complete completely finished because I really want you guys to see what what I'm trying to accomplish here. It's just so easy. It's like taking candy from a baby. A little bit too much there. Okay, there we go. Just nice and easy. These pads. The hand grips here. Look how that, that it just pops right out. And it's there for the taking. Because these are just beautiful, wonderful miniatures. For a, a, a fantastic game. A fantastic game. You're actually playing in, in the city hall or the city. It's just... It's 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 really just... It's everything that you can want. Uh, just trust me on this. Um, take a look. I, I, I'm going to have a, a review for this up at 11 a.m. Eastern uh, tomorrow. And you guys will be able to see... This beautiful game. If you played Wildlands, you know how much fun it was. And now you have the Judge Dread universe to play with. I mean, I think that's just... Hey, you know, what What, what can you say, right? I mean, really. Alright, there we go. And... I just want to hit this elbow here. Just being very controlled in everything I do here. Taking my time. Taking my time. There we go. You get it off here? I never understand that. Why are babies eating candy? Huh? Babies eat candy because, I don't know, they like it? <laughs> Alright, just get underneath here. I want to make sure that we hit everything and it stands out fantastically. We get those nice shadows. And that's why I'm painting these guys is because it really can make these guys stand out and really be cool. All right. I like that. I like that. I like that. All right. So now what's the next thing that we do? What's the next thing that we do? Let's take a look here. There we go. 
see what we're going for see how we get get that nice shadow even though right there I missed that's why we show it up see how you pull that out boom just like that double check your work show it to people online all right there we go look at that yeah the, the green really starts to starts to bring it together but we I think there's one more thing that we have here that'll really make it stand out and if we do it right you know we're there you know what before we go to that there's one thing I do want to do got a little bit of Agrath Earthshade and I think that's just perfect for for the faces I'm just gonna take a little bit here and I want to be careful with this because there we go I want to make sure I get it in there you always want to be careful with your Agrath Earthshade you don't want it to overpower anything but you don't you just don't want to leave the flesh color the way you had it okay let's go here for the judge himself and there we go you want to work that right in there and you can see that it just sits in there very nicely perfect all right and our girl here now this one here I want to do more than just I like going over her hair too there we go and then we can come back over it there we go everything's dark but but you're gonna see that especially with the giant here how we make everything kind of come out we keep that darkness but we kind of bring everything out a certain way thank you thank you everybody's saying it's looking good well if it's you guys think it looks good then then we're doing a good job and that's all that matters right all right so now remember we put our retribution armor we can go back over it with retribution armor or or we can take some of this auroric gold armor and go over it and just kind of try to brighten it even more uh Ghana gold would be good but i think we want that gold to come out we want it to pop a lot so we're going to take and shake this up real good and we're going to do the same thing that we did with the green we're just going to take our time we're just going to take our time that's the whole thing here it's just taking your time not rushing it being controlled now, now, now look at this gold you see how light that is that's what we're talking about folks now we're going to have to get a good amount on our our brush but we've got to be very controlled and very smart with it metallics are tough sometimes i always like taking and getting a good area here like so all right and just working it in here work 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 all right now this is where where we can really get some nice detail if we do this correctly it's just oh look at that just nice and easy just over the top hit it now you see how see how that starts to pop there see how that starts to come out that's what we're looking for nice and easy doesn't have to be smathered all over it just take your time nice and easy just nice it's like like I keep on all saying all the time just tickle it like it was a feather like you were tickling your puppy or something and then we're really gonna see it is right here watch how oh boy that's nice boy that's a nice feel to it huh and I'm gonna show you guys that's that really makes it strong see how strong that is see how that just kind of sits there okay come on come on camera 
See what I'm talking about? See how now all of a sudden that gold. Now we're talking Judge Dredd. Okay, now we're talking. I believe it's dry enough where we can we can do some of the other figures. We'll find out very shortly. Alright, just take your time. Again, this is such an important area here. You really just wanna I wanna hit that edge here. See how that gold just kind of jumps out at you? And look at that. Wow, look at that. It has that metallic feel now, don't it? And that's what we're going for, folks. You get that deep wash in there. You get that underneath. This is why you paint them. This is why you paint them, folks. All right, just nice and easy. Just nice, wonderful over underneath here. There we go. This badge here, watch how that badge will come alive. Oh, uh, yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. And then we're going to just get a little bit more here. Boom, 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 boom. And then we just kind of want to come over the top here. Nice and easy, nice and easy, nice and easy. Don't rush it, just take your time and it all come together it all comes together and it's beautiful when it does boom 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 don't overdo it don't overdo it don't overdo it don't overdo it and that's what we're looking for that's all we're looking for all right, it's one little thing that we're going to do, but we're going to try to get some of the gold on the big boy here. All right, because we really want that to, to pop out there. And you want to see that again, don't you? All right, so just again, just nice and easy over the badge, the belt buckle. Just take your time. And yep, you got it. Right over the top there. Right over the top. Who knows, you might even see us get a play in this weekend maybe of this. I don't know. We'll see. Of course I'm playing myself, but this game is easy enough to do it solo, believe it or not. It's just sometimes you gotta shut off one side of your brain. <laughs> But, oh, look at that. Look at that. I'll tell you, that eagle just makes this such a beautiful miniature. Look at that. Oh, boy. I'll tell you. If this doesn't get you excited for this game, I don't know what will. Maybe somebody else painted it. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. Man. This is why I do this here on Board Game Geek. Just open up your minds. Give it your try. Give it a shot. Is it me or eights Joe's gun spent? Uh, it's a little bent. <laughs> it's a little bent. But, you know, we can fix that. We can fix anything. That's why we do what we do. All right. All right, there we go. Just sitting on top there. Oh, let's shut that off. Telemarketer. I don't know anybody in Weirsdale. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. The judge. The judge. All right, let's take a look here. Let's do a little bit more while we got here. I think uh, she's dry enough where we can pull this off a little bit. All I want to do, get those pads. All right, this is a very complicated piece here because you want to be very, very, very careful here because this chest plate on her is really, really just important. Wow, we're doing pretty good. We still have 10 minutes left. All right.
right and then come up top here and just look at that it just really starts to pop for her right there now I'll finish the rest of these off camera that's for sure but I wanted to show you the gold going on and how much it just really brings these out and especially right here where it's really just see how dark we made it and then just by taking and adding that wash in and it just gives a, a, a level of depth that we're always looking for easy 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 right in right in here the badge we want to be very careful with we don't want to lose all that detail that we were building so just taking and working this very slowly and very easily and does a lot of wonderful things all right is my hand in the way probably i'm sorry folks if you're missing out on this but this is why you do what you do you just kind of just that little bit of detail just taking your time really makes a world of difference on these wonderful wonderful figures now, there's another way that there's a couple other things that we can do here and uh, let me see if I can find it if I have it here all right that's no good that's got to be chucked uh, yes we have a a rune fang silver a steel which is very light that's really really gonna just kind of stand out over and for the metallics remember we put a lead belcher over the top so now what we want to do now what we want to do is I want to do the same thing that I've done with the gold and do it for the silver parts okay so I'm just taking I'm just taking and I'm working this little area here that's all I'm doing I'm sorry the camera shaking it I'm working on the table here and I'm, I think I do a little bit better here for you guys all right this is why we do what we do folks all right so now you have this wonderful arm here okay so you want to kind of do the same thing that we just did and just add that oh look at that i don't want to to overdo it all i want to do is just i don't want to lose that beautiful wash that we put in there I want this though to feel metallic. I want it to feel like there's circuitry and there's there's depth and there's perception and all the, the other things that we're looking for. Over the top of this head here, we wanna I wanna bring that out. And I wanna take away everything that I worked so hard to build here. Oh, there we go. There's his little plate there. He's got his sword here. I just want... I want that to stand out a little bit. There we go. And do the same thing. As you can see, that, that arm just comes to life now. That's all we were looking to do. And just I put down my little helmet here. So you can see what the heck I'm doing here. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go, right into his face there. Uh wanna put that handle on there. Just nice and light. Alright. And of course, the gun here. You gotta remember, there's a little chain here. So you wanna kinda, just wanna touch that too. Cause that's an intricate part there. See how that pops out now? 
Now we go over the gun. Yeah, it's a little bent. What, what are we going to do? Right? Can't have everything. We do try, though. But that sits up nicely. Same thing over here. Kind of want to just sit that up in there. There we go. Boy, I like that. I like that a lot. Again, taking a little bit there. And just work right in there. And then she's got this little area here. You want to be careful. You can get it. There you go. That's all it takes. A little bit of work there, folks. A little bit of work. And then we want to bring this gun out. It's just so easy. It's like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> well, now I get it because I said that. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Oh boy. There we go. There we go. All right, we're at 655. Listen, hey. We did an hour. I promised an hour. We got almost everything done here. There's still some touch ups like we did with uh, the giant there. So uh, let's go up top here. Listen. It's not hard, it's not rocket science. You can do this. You can do this. And I think uh, I think if you really take a look at these guys, um, let's do our top down thing here. Hold on, let me see. I think I can do this where I can do it this way. No, no, hold on. Okay, there we go. There I am. And we can just take a look. I mean, that's all, that's all we're looking for. All right, Judge Dredd, there you go. All right, really simple, simple, simple. And just taking a little bit of your time and doing it. I know we got to do the green here yet and the blue, but you could see how we really, how we really built out there. The only other thing you want to do is there's a, a, a little visor that he has there. Uh, if you get yourself a little bit of, yes, Fenris gray. And uh, we shake this up and uh, and that's really gonna really mail it home here uh, matter of fact let me just get my little visor on so I don't mess up Whoop. let's take off that hat and just taking your time and this this really just kind of really nails it home by just coming in here and getting that visor now that visor really stands out really makes a a big a big difference Every, uh, Aldi said he wants to paint but he doesn't have time Aldi I don't have time either <laughs> alright get it done alright there we go All right, let's, there we go Let's move this all over. Listen, we may not get a ton of views and stuff like that, but I'm going to keep on doing this every week because a bunch of you will really enjoy this. And that's the most important thing. And uh, if I can just, you know, get a couple of you to pick up a brush, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. And that's all we're trying to do. I love coming here every week and spending time with you guys and doing something like this. We're going to finish up the rest of the, the, the game. And uh, let me show you the game, too. Uh, there we go. But here it is. This is the game. It is a Wildlands game. Judge Dredd, Helter Skelter. Uh, why don't I go up top here? Well, uh, I can't do that. But you can see on the back here. It plays just like the, uh, yeah, you got it. All things that you could possibly want here. Just just a great, great game. I loved Wildlands to begin with, and now you added Judge Dredd in, boom, count me in. Huh? 
Aldi, now that you've made all of us those amazing changes to BGG, take some time off and paint. There you go. See? I just want to paint. Uh, really enjoy the session. Thank you. We did it all. We said it all. We kept it. We kept it pretty simple. We got everything done. And uh, next week you'll see the other. Uh, we'll do the other factions, and we'll just kind of go through. And then I'll show you the finished product of, of these guys. Uh, we did get to show you the giant finished. I think I'm really happy with him the way he is. And uh, the most important thing is we showed you how how much fun this is. Uh, this game sort of came out of nowhere. It, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Ooh, the Strotum dogs are in there too. So we're, we're going to do that next week. But um, I'm going to have to change the day. I think it'll either be Tuesday or Thursday because uh, I'm going to the, ha the Mickey Halloween party with my grandson who is coming down from Connecticut to spend some time with his grandpa. And, uh, and uh, I always look to, uh, forward to that. So... Uh, uh, I'm going to that on that day, so uh, we'll make it another day, and we'll, we'll stay every week. We just may have to change the day every once in a while. So we'll finish up this game next week, uh, and the following week um, we are going to be painting zombies. So we'll do that, and we just got a lot of great things uh, in store and planned. Uh, you're going to see some stuff from uh, a game that uh, is going to be going to Kickstarter that we're going to do some painting with. It's called Oath Sworn Into the Deepwood. Uh, I was given a bunch of their figures. Um, I think that'll be fun. I'm trying to see where they are. Oh, here we are. Just to give you guys a quick highlight, I'm, I want to show you this one figure because I think you guys will really like this one. And we will paint it here on board game geek i mean look at this guy i like picking uh, painting big figures is harder than painting small ones because they don't hide the mistakes you make so i'm going to show you all kinds of great stuff listen i've said it all i've done it all i had a wonderful time i hope you guys did too until next time for all the wonderful people here at board game geek aldi of course all the guys and gals uh, and, of course, your old pal, Rob. Until next time, we'll see you soon. Have a great evening. And always remember, tomorrow's are never guaranteed. And on top of it, always be nice to somebody. Be good to somebody. Because not only is it going to make you feel good, it's going to make them feel good. And that's the most important thing in life. It's just being kind to each other. <sighs> I think I've said it all. We'll see you guys soon. Bye now. Always have to wait a few seconds.